Photocells are little sensors that are used to detect the amount of light that's out. So uh, one common application is in a nightlight that uh, only turns on when it's dark or a dust to dawn light out on your porch that turns on at night. Um, that's basically what a photocell does. These three are photo resistors or light dependent resistors or LDRs. Basically what happens is you'll run uh, electrical current through this cell and as you show it more or less light it resists or um, or allows more electricity to go through. Now this guy right here is called a phototransistor. It's almost the same exact thing. Um, it, it has the same application but basically if you're familiar how a transistor works there's usually three pins. Uh, one would be say a ground, the other one is positive and you want the electricity to flow through by putting a voltage on the base. Well in this case the base is light so when light shines in it uh, allows more electricity through. It's basically the same thing only um, this is definitely polarized. You can only flow through positive in the anode, the long leg and then negative on the cathode. Alright, let's show you how a LDR works. I have my leads here. I'm going to use some clippies so I don't have to hold the leads on. We'll grab one of these. And notice I have my ohm meter set to R times 1. Let's go ahead and Turn it away. Not seeing much, we'll do R times a hundred. So when the LDR is pointed at the light, we've got about or six hundred and fifty ohms, I'm sorry. But uh cover it up and it's much more than a thousand ohms. Let's try this. Let's try one of this little guy. Should be basically the same experience. Okay, so the photo transistor. We'll go ahead and connect our leads here. You can see it's not very impressive. We'll go ahead and go to R times 10,000 and see that it does vary the amount of electricity that can flow through it as you shade it. For those of you that weren't enjoying trying to read my analog uh, ohm meter, here I have this on the 400k scale. You can see as we go ahead and cover it. It goes all the way up 300k all the way and then just in the ambient light in this room, it's 1.7, but if I turn on a flashlight, pretty much goes down to 200 ohms. You may have noticed that the phototransistor looks a lot like a light emitting diode, or LED. Well, there's a definite reason for that. They are the same family of uh, technology and extremely similar. In fact, let me show you the cool thing you can do with an LED. I have a voltmeter here. I'm going to hook up the leads to this LED. And notice that it's actually generating some electricity, some voltage. Take this flashlight. It goes all the way up to 1.3 volts. This is extremely low current, but Obviously, an, um, a poor man that doesn't happen to have an LDR or a phototransistor can modify a circuit and actually use an LED to perform the same function 